they did within subject design. Untrained individuals, one leg straight leg calf raise, one leg seated calf raise. And what they found was basically the seated calf raise just needs to go to the garbage for mul multiple reasons. We put it behind the barn, we take some kerosene, light them on fire. There are a variety of groups of people, let's just say in the United States, that didn't have full access to truly de facto all civil rights. Females, all minorities, LGBTQ folks. Nowadays, that's 10 trillion times better than ever. Pretty much almost everyone is on equal rights and stuff like that. And except for one group of people to <laughs> whom off camera, Daniel Loki told me he just doesn't like these people. And he does not think cannot they confirm. should even be <laughs> cannot confirm. These people, Daniel said to me, should not be allowed to use public transportation. Definitely no voting. And this is tough to say. Scott, this is a bit weird to say on this channel. It's going to get political. <laughs> people that use the seated calf raise. They're just not welcome in our great country. Daniel, why did you tell me that? Can you paint us a scientifically backed picture? Yeah, so I think this all started in my childhood. Where, <laughs> <laughs> no, definitely, <laughs> definitely not my childhood, but maybe like early teens okay. where I was subjected to watching individuals just like ride the calf machine. It's a ride. So, yeah, it's exactly. a ride. Yeah, exactly. you get your tendons so. in there. They do all the work. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So Eight I was plates on a side. I was truly traumatized by that. <laughs> where I even before the science came in, I was like, I am not getting on that ride. So that's. I mean, I can, I think we can end it right there. <laughs> that's but, it. but that's an, yeah, so you go to Six Flags or like roller coaster, merry go round, seated calf race. Exactly. <laughs> What's that yeah. like? Oh, it's like a thing you do yourself. Like, will it grow muscle? Like. Ooh, well, no. Yeah, exactly. So, so what's up with the seated calf let's, race? Why yeah, is it getting let's, less let's love now? Dive in. Now it's yeah, getting less love for sure, and I think you know, rightfully so, given the recent evidence. So, See, I told you guys, he's a fucking anti-seated calf yes, guy. Yes. Unbelievable. Unfortunately, I've, I've their children should the be camp. allowed to go to school and join the camp. <laughs> yes, exactly. Put those seated calf people into a camp. Is that cool to say or not, Scott? Are we getting canceled Ooh, for that? I think we're we're part of two a, Jews a on the podcast. Exactly. All yeah, good, fellas. I think, I think Good. I think we get the, the pass <laughs> the on that pass one. From, exactly. So yeah. two studies, one, which this is a context where untrained individuals are actually super useful. So they did within subject design. One group did straight leg calf raises. What is within subject design? Tell the folks what that means. Yeah. So basically that's just one leg or one arm. In mm -hmm. this case, one leg mm -hmm. is assigned to one condition to do one the, thing exactly mm -hmm. and the other leg is assigned to another condition in See order which to, one's better exactly do, uh, genetics is completely obviated motivation is completely obviated nutrition. it's literally nutrition mm -hmm. lifestyle training history it's a really awesome way of studying things yeah for sure so it accounts for a, a whole lot mm -hmm. uh, especially for hypertrophy literature yes. for strength it can get a little murky just because there's a crossover effect and yes. so on but for hypertrophy a whole lot of good yes. there so untrained individuals one leg straight leg calf raise, one leg seated calf raise. And what they found was pretty damning for the seated calf raise, where the straight leg condition grew the gastroc a whole lot. So the outer the head. Big meaty part of the calf. Yeah, exactly. The that, diamond looking thing. Yep, on the outside. Oop. On the outside. So whole lot of growth, somewhere around 15% growth in the straight leg condition and then for the soleus in the strength straight leg condition the deeper stringier smaller muscle underneath yeah it's actually a pretty big muscle but, but it you is can't see definitely it, so it, it is definitely underneath and they found for the straight leg condition about i think it was like three percent growth but then you move over to the seated condition and almost no growth for the outer gastroc why it's it seems that the shortened position is just not as hypertrophic. So shortening that gastroc and reducing the leverage and getting less stretch in that position yep. is just not yep. very hypertrophic. Yep. And so, you do that by, because the gastroc crosses the knee. As soon as you bend the knee, the gastroc's like, I don't have anything to pull against. What the hell am I here for? Yeah. So yeah. that's the, the major hypothesis on mm -hmm. that front. But interestingly, and this is through some people for a loop, and including myself, honestly, even though I was already in the camp, of course, but the soleus grew 
about the same amount. Ooh. Yeah, so no benefits. Yes, let me tell the folks why this is important. It's important because these disgusting, degenerate, seated calf people used to have their one bullshit little excuse, you know? Like, like, like what, what, uh, what purpose do orcs serve in the Lord of the Rings universe? Well, at least they fight wars and stuff, I guess, right? But the seated calf people used to say, okay, the gastroc, not great to hit with seated calves, mm. but seated calves target the soleus because it doesn't cross the knee. So it's good for that. Right. And it turns out it might not even be better for that. Yeah. It's kind of like if you have like two friends, one of them is super good looking and rich and funny and the other one's just funny, but no funnier than the other friend. You're going to be hanging out with the one friend more, especially to get free shit because he's rich. <laughs> That's how friendships work, right? I, I thought so. That's the only reason I choose friends. Just line up their net worth and, and pluck people off. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Exactly. Like, that's like a third question you're asking to hang out. You're like, so what's your net worth? They're like, what? <laughs> well, what's a wrong answer? So basically what you're saying, Daniel, is we have a situation where with a standing calf raise, you get it all. And with a seated calf raise, you get the same growth for the soleus, but almost no growth for the gastroc. So it begs the question of why the fuck <laughs> you would ever do a seated calf raise. Do you find any compelling reasons to do a seated calf raise? Yeah. So, I mean, honestly, I was previously in that camp that is just, you know, now shouldn't be considered at all that I thought that the soleus might get a bit more growth from that seated position. Now that one study in untrained individuals showed that the gastroc is basically getting no growth, which is, you know, super weird and same growth. And these are people who are very primed for growth, obviously. They and even in grow. them, right. that was shown. So I think I, I would consider that even higher evidence than in yes. trained folks. Yes. So huge strike. And then a replication study recently in trained individuals out of my previous lab, Brad showed basically the same directionally, the same thing. So now two studies showing essentially the same concept where basically the seated calf raise just needs to go to the garbage for mul multiple reasons. We put it behind the barn. We take some kerosene, light them on fire, stop stealing plates from other machines. Yes. Everyone's <laughs> got 800 fucking plates. I think I had a weird interaction a few days ago. I was, um, I parked my gold Lexus outside of a store. Uh, every component is gold. Very difficult to make a machine run well, but they did it. You pay people enough money to do all kinds of crazy shit. And there's this uh, homeless gentleman in the street, and I got out my wad of hundreds to try to help him sort his life out. Naturally. But I was like, what, you know, did you used to have a job? And he's like, yep, I used to make seated calf raise machines. <laughs> Daniel, I put my wad of hundreds back into my, <laughs> I was into my man was bag going. so fast. That was good. And honestly, I looked at him with the look that tells him, you're just not welcome here. He was gone later that day. And, you know, I don't care where he went. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I completely agree with your actions. A hundred percent aligned. <laughs> Researcher Daniel Plotkin confirms homeless people. Hates homeless people. Hates homeless hates people. Homeless. And, does <laughs> and loathes seated calories almost as much. Almost as, as much. Yeah, yeah. So not good. RP Hypertrophy app comes with dozens of pre-made programs from two days of training per week all the way up to six days of training with specialized programs included for shoulders, arms, chest, back, legs, abs, and glutes, each one with male and female options. You get them all and can use them as often as you like, even building off of them to make your own customized versions for only about a dollar a day. Click on the link in the description of this video to get started. What about variation? Because you could say, look, you get tired of doing stand. I can't yeah. even say it without laughing. You get tired of doing standing calf yeah. raise, of which there are 18 trillion versions anyway. Yeah. Should I throw in a seated calf raise every now and again just to kind of ride the old roller coaster? You know, it reminds you of childhood. Yeah, for sure. So I think, you know, if you would ask my former PI slash mentor, Brad, he would say it's a little bit premature to discount seated calf raise completely because there was a minor minor amount of increase comparatively in the in soleus the, in the soleus i'm not sure that i necessarily would do that just because of my you know visceral disdain Hatred. for, for yeah. the seated calf raise but 
you could make the argument that if somebody was just dying for gains and they had so much, like they didn't care about any other muscle group too. They just had so much available volume and they just really wanted to grow their calves. Yeah, you could throw it in there. I'm all right with that. But otherwise, variation for the sake of variation yeah. is not warranted. Not I would great. say, I would say definitely stick to variations that could net you more. And I think that there are tons of variations where you could do partial rep ranges, yes. stop at very specific positions. You could even, there's some data on this, Nunez, I think 2020, where you could turn your feet out, yeah. turn your feet in, and get Calf potential. raises off the leg press, single leg calf raises with a dumbbell, mm -hmm. double leg with a weighted vest, calf mm -hmm. machine, yeah. but straight leg is best. Yeah, I think what's cool also with the single leg is that at least for me, um, my legs are kind of weird because I've, you know, one stance uh, all the time with wrestling. You know, uh -huh. you, you sometimes develop some like sure, weird sure, balances sure, sure, there. Sure. So I have one calf for whatever reason that is much less flexible than the other. Huh. So one benefit of doing single leg calf raises is that you can actually really drop into that stretch. Yes. So. Otherwise, it just won't get us jacked. It just one leg is getting the stretch. Yes. And the I have the same not, thing. Yeah. Maybe it's because we were Jewish and we were born broken or something like that. <laughs> It's possible. We can't rule it out. As scientists, you know, gotta we got to we got to search. We got to search. Search for the truth, exactly. except for the seated calf raise, which, like you said, needs to be burned. It's it's a piece of metal though. So like you finish burning it, it looks roughly the same. You're like, <sighs> yeah. Somebody might still try to use it. One of those cult members. <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't be good. <laughs> Scott, can you imagine like a a totally burnt out seated calf raise? You put it in a gym, and some bro comes up to it. He's like, look, and starts putting plates, and they're like, no. <laughs> There's not even a seat pad on there. Yeah. I mean, Damn those, it. those people are so bad that honestly, they would just like hoist an individual onto their legs just to, just to keep doing their seated calf raises. That's so it. there's nothing stopping them. So. Unspeakable. Exactly. Unspeakable. Yeah. Excellent. I love that. All right. <laughs> Next question, Scott. The, the thumbnail title for this, just have a giant X over a seated calf raise machine, says useless. That's exactly what's going to be, and I, but I have the title tentatively as the seated calf raise officially sucks. So officially sucks. Science colon. Fuck the that's seated it. calf raise. I love it.